Hi, in this video, we will see how to install Oracle Linux in virtual machine. So before going to before we start making virtual machine, we will go into our desired partition where we want to make our virtual machine. As you can see, I have already two folders. So I'm going to delete this one. It's an empty. I think it is yes it was okay first make a folder name it anything and then start your virtual machine make sure you have already downloaded Oracle Linux if you haven't you can check my previous video okay on the home page create new virtual machine click on it select a typical option the custom one whichever suits so as a beginner you can go with the typical next and here, here you can select I will install the operating system later. Okay, select the guest operating system. On this page, you can, you know, click on the scroll and scroll the rest and select the operating system which you are going to install. In our case, we are going to install Oracle Linux. So we're going to select Oracle Linux 7.3, usually 7, with the starting version 64 bit what it will do it will basically tell virtual machine that <coughs> we are going to install this operating system of this version 32 bit or 64 bit 64 bit then click next and browse browse for the folder which we made i made oracle linux and rename whatever you want to give a name to your virtual machine so in our case I'm going to give the same here it's asking for disk size for your virtual machine I'm going to give 30 GB next finish okay now your virtual machine is set up but still we need to add ISO file to our virtual machine and give a RAM space increase our RAM space so you can click on edit virtual machine and on this page you can see memory on memory of your virtual machine is 1024 which is 1 GB you can increase or decrease the RAM size anytime even after creating your virtual machine you can edit these settings so I'm going to give I'm going to provide 2 GB to my virtual machine which is 2048 and on CD DVD you can check mark this use ISO image browse the downloaded Oracle Linux ISO file you know in my case it is in operating system Oracle Linux Oracle there you go and you, you can remove this printer USB controller unwanted hardware options once it is done close it safe and close it power it on okay once it boots up click your mouse in this window and enter hit enter first it is going to check whether your ISO file is corrupted or not so if it is working it will boot the ISO image so we can start our installation see it's going to check we can abort that by pressing escape I'm going to escape I'm going to press escape to boot the check
okay now once the iso is booted you will see the welcome to oracle linux 7.3 or any version which you have inserted or added to the iso location so click on continue you can select any language as per to your requirement i am going to let it default continue select your time zone by clicking on it time as my reg my region is india i'm going to let it be 12 hours more so it's around 10:19 am once it is run click done after that you can click on software selection and make sure you are checking server with gui if you want a gui interface you can select server with gui if you are going to select minimal minimal i don't know how to pronounce this minimal install it will it, it is going to give you a terminal version you know totally cli command less command base select compatibility libraries and other tools whichever is required in my case i need compatibility libraries once you have check mark the required rpms click done select installation destination okay here i'm going to make if you want a guided you can click continue and start the installation if you want to make a manual in partitions check this i will configure partition done on this page you can click lvm and change that to standard partitions click plus icon i'm going to make four partitions which will be boot of 1024 mb slash 20 gb slash u015 gb and double of our hardware ram <coughs> which we provided to our virtual machine around 2 gb so slash boot 1024 click again plus swap will be around 4096 double of ram make sure it is right 92 plus sign again slash which is root 20480 which will be around <coughs> 20 gb and the rest goes to u01 slash u01 that's all okay the partitions are ready once you are done with the partition click done accept the changes on network and host name on this page you can click on configure if you want a manual one you can go into ip and setting and select the manual and set the ip address and if you want a automatic dhcp ip address you can let it be default on the general tab make sure you select automatically connect to this network when it is available right then click done click on k dump and disable it done security policies of for development mode in production unit security is to be on done begin installation that's all once the installation begin it will take few time few minutes 
not fill time okay while it's taking time click on root password provide the root password i'm going to provide my root password click done click on user creation create a test read test user or any user with the password for the test user okay here i'm going to stop the video for a few minutes to keep the video short okay so just want to show you that the installation has came so far it has installed around 1132 rpms the packages which is required by the default installation it will take few more minutes so i'm going to stop the video for a while once it is done i'll start it again okay i'm back and as you can see the installation has completed now it's asking to reboot the virtual machine click on reboot so the virtual machine restarts okay the oracle linux is starting up now okay it has started click on license information accept the license and click done finish configurations click on the user enter the password which you have provided during the installation sign in now you have oracle linux installed on your vm vmware virtual machine congratulations and thank you for watching subscribe like and comment thank you